Hi there, it's Victoria and we're going to talk about rolling cones today. I have some colored cello. I think that the contrast will be good for this video. I have my pins. We'll do some with pins and some without. I have my handy dandy kitty tape, which is actually ruse, and a white background so that we have some good contrast as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is look at my cello. It naturally curves that way, and so I'm going to roll it using that curl. We're going to start out with a long skinny cone. Uh, this is a rectangle, it's a 5x7, or no, a 5x8, and the point is going to be on this long end. You don't make the point here, you don't make it on the short end, at least I don't. I always make it on the long end. For a long skinny cone, I want the point to be below the halfway point. I roll in the air towards me. That's my method, so I'm going to get my turn. If you're having trouble getting a turn, fold a triangle, fold a triangle again and let it pop open and you'll have your turn. But I'm going to get my turn and see I'm making my point down there. It is about three quarters of the way down that long edge. I'm putting one finger on the inside and I'm going to pull and tighten that cone up with that pulling motion. And I'm going to continue to pull with every pass. Now I'm not quite at the end. But I'm close enough I'm going to get a piece of tape and I'm going to add it right there oops, to my cello and I'm going to finish rolling it around applying pressure to the tip with my finger and I now have a long skinny cone Next, we'll do a fat cone, a short fat cone. I've got the same cello, same size, but I'm going to bring my midpoint up and I'm gonna have two fingers on the inside of my cone. You see my tip is up higher, and I'm even going to try to bring that a little higher by pushing and then pulling it tight. And this will give me a nice fat cone. Here I am at, at the end. You can see that edge is much longer than it was with my long skinny cone because my point is up higher on that middle edge. I'm going to just tape this around here. Now when I make a short fat cone, I don't want this sticking out. So I'll just take a piece of tape and I'll tape it there. My cone is nice and tight got two pieces of tape and that's it. Same piece of cello, two sizes of cones. Set those aside and let's roll one with a pin. Find one with some contrast so we can see. There's my pin. What I like to do is get my roll started, my cone started. I'm going to get one turn into my cone. I'm going to take my pin I'm going to insert it in the little fold. Then I'm going to pull with my finger and do that twisting motion here, that pushing and pulling motion there with my other finger to get it tight around the pin. Then I'll continue to just roll around that pin. I'm going to finish securing the cello. My background of white paper is shifting, but you all get the idea. And so now here is my third cone. And this is more like the size that I like to use. It's not as long as a long skinny cone. It's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit wider, but it isn't as wide as the short and fat cone. If I want to do a cone with a pin that's shorter and fatter, I'll move those aside again. Grab the pin. I'm going to do the same thing. You see I've got my two fingers in the cello. I'm gonna bring it around once. Put my pin in and roll it around tightly. Hi, Kiwi. Got to grab some tape. That's Gooey in the background kissing my arm. He's a sweet little boy. 
Yeah. And one more piece of tape to secure. And there's our final cone. Aren't they done? Yep, they're gone. Did I eat? Yeah. And so there, this is odd tape. There are the four cones. And a little look into my busy life with these children. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me or any of the mods. Talk to you later. Bye.